Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, we are going to create a lighting family. It will be a pendant and it will be adjustable so we can change its dimensions and materials. So, to create uh, this kind of lighting, we need to go to families part and here. Then we are going to select this lighting fixture sailing based. We can use these as well, but for now we are going to work on this one. We will set our uni to metric and then we're going to left view. Here we have view references line. This is our floor and this is our ceiling. So this will be our lighting and in this space here in this gap we are going to model our lighting. To change our lighting dimension we need this line to be moved. Okay, we can't um, move our floor or our ceiling, so we need this line to move. So we need to set dimensions, set parameters that helps these lines to this line to move. So we lock this our ceiling and we need to make sure it's reference line, not sailing line. We, I select uh, aligned uh, from annotation aligned and click here and here. Okay, and here. So we don't need to change this, but we need to make it a parameter. So. do this again for here. First line is our sailing line and second line is our this one light source and we need to again click on reference line and turn it into a parameter as well. Click instance. We can make it as a tie, but this might be easier sometimes. Okay, so this way, if we change this size, this is our second parameter, it should move. So that's totally right. Okay, we can change. Our lighting light light store symbol size from here. We want to make it real small. Okay. Now our lighting has uh, different parts, and if we want to create this, we need to know these parts. First of all, we need to create this one. This is called canopy or uh, light holder. And after that we have this road, we have this wire or chain or whatever it is, we will create this uh, with extrusion. Uh, and after that we have this part, it's a bulb holder. And after that we have the bulb, uh, light bulb itself. And then we are going to add some frames and details to it. So basically that's all and there are a few um, commands that we can use them. To start modeling we need a few reference lines. So we, from create we click here in reference line 
and from offset we can create one year in two centimeters this is for our canopy after that we can use revolve to create it I'm going to create it here and like this it needs to be closed after that I'm going to align these line these lines this line and this line with our reference lines because when you use this way you can lock them so first click on your reference line and after that on your line then lock it and you need to do this in with this line as well you need to make sure you're not selecting sailing you need to select reference line after that click here and lock so that's it then we are going to create our axis line so it can revolve around this and okay so this is our canopy the second part we need to create our road or our chain we are going to use extrusion and we can create it from this view we need to go here and come here first and then click create it circle lines and like this okay. we will leave this here it's actually thicker than I thought so okay. we're going to leave it here because we need to create cap holder and after that we need to um, lock this between this line and this line okay. two other reference line for our cap holder so here we need to use revolve again and it's just the same if you have any specific model you can do it but I'm going to work on a very simple one so we can Do something like this and again we need to lock these lines in with this okay and this You can use fillet for these parts. And don't forget axis. Okay. So yes, that's it. Here, this is our canopy, this is our road. And this is our light bulb holder. So here now we can fix this road to these reference lines and lock and lock. I'm going to make this one. if we move and change 
this size they should work all together yes that's right it's working okay now we just need to create our light bulb To create light bulbs, uh, we need two other reference lines, one here, below this line, and one here. Again, we are going to create revolve, and it's just the same. Your design depends on your design and the type of light bulb that you want but you need to make sure that you are locking all of the lines between two reference lines so uh, after I create this one I use a start and reduce arc to just make sure I'm locking this line this line between two references so I clicked here first click here and second one here exactly on our reference line and axis line and you can create something like this you can fill it here We need to lock this with this and to lock this one we need to just draw it back and you can see that it wasn't locked now if you bring it again to this this point we can lock this now so now our line is locked but we can't just close it like this because this way you might face this warning like this it says light source is inside solid geometry no light will be emitted during rendering so we can change this so we can see our light we need to offset these lines and our light bulb is actually glass so we can offset this a bit all of them and then We need to close it like this. This way we can have a normal light bulb. So yes, that's it. Without any warning. And check, let's check if it's working correctly yes it is that's it for this part hope you used this and i hope you could create this model as well if it was useful for you please give me a like and subscribe me so yes thanks for watching and bye